Hi everyone and welcome back to another Pokemon card opening. In this video I'll be opening two of these Chilling Rain Build and Battle boxes. I really love opening these. There is a possibility of one or four promo cards inside. Um, so hopefully opening two of them I end up with two different ones. Um, but they come with uh, the beginnings of a pre-made deck that you can build upon to battle. Um, they also come with four booster packs. So I've got two of these to open. So we'll open them up, check out the promo cards inside, and then get into the packs. All right, everyone. Here are the two build and battle boxes to open. I haven't taken the plastic off yet. Um, inside we have a 23 card evolution pack. So that's the beginning of the deck that I was talking about. Got one of four unique promo cards. So hopefully we have two different ones. Um, four booster packs and a code for the online game, of course. So I will... Try not to damage the boxes. I do like to keep them kind of as a collector's item, but you can use them as a deck box for a good size for that. If you do end up buying these ooh, to be able to um, build your own deck with. So the reason I didn't want to take the plastic off off camera is because people say, and I haven't found evidence for this either way, but people say... Um, the packs that come in these boxes can be um, luckier, I guess. Um, the pull rates um, apparently are better if you get packs from these boxes. So when you buy these boxes, um, if you're only a collector and you don't battle, um, the only reason you would buy these is for the possibility of a one or four possible promo cards inside. Um, if you're not going to use the partially made deck that it comes with, um, then it's a little bit expensive actually. So we open it up. So this is the box that you could use as a deck box. Open it up. We have uh, Chilling Rain, the uh, Rule of Frozen Tundra. So you got building tips, um, how to build upon the deck that it comes with. There's also the card list of all the cards in the set so you can tick them off if you do want to try and collect them all so the first promo we have ooh, is Inteleon and the one all the uh, four promo cards that are possible in these will all be stamped so there's the Chilling Rain stamp promo Sword and Shield number 113 so I'll open that up and sleeve that so there's the four packs out of box number one so we open this up and I will sleeve the wonderful um, Inteleon promo. So that will go in my special binder just for promos. And here is the beginnings of a deck. Uh, Bruno. Oh, and also when you have the beginnings of a deck, um, there could be cards from multiple sets inside. Um, these will all be Sword and Shield cards, though, because it's the same rules, I believe. So, Bruno. Uh, Bruno from Battlestar. Sonia from Rebel Clash. Avery from Chilling Rain. Then we have Sobble. So, this is the beginnings of a water deck, obviously. Sobble, Drizal, um, Inteleon. So, this is the Inteleon from Chilling Rain. And this is the promo Inteleon. So, they do the same thing except one's obviously a special version. So there's the Inteleon, we've got two of those, some more trainer cards, um, and then you've got um, Fighting Diglett and Doug Trio from Chilling Rain. So, because I'm not going to use these cards to build with, I'll obviously sort them out later into their respective binders. So, open pack number two. Hopefully, the promo is not Inteleon. And... Oh, it's not. Excellent. All right, I'm happy with that. So, promo number two is Cinderace. And there is the Chilling Rain stamp. I'm not sure what the other two possible promos are. I'm, I'm guessing Rillaboom because that's the third final evolution. Um, the third Pokemon, starting Pokemon's final evolution, I should say. So, we'll open that up. So I won't be giving out 
the code cards from these boxes. I'll keep them for a giveaway. But I will be giving the code cards out from the packs, like I always do. All right. So Cinderace will also get a special sleeve for my promo binder, which are, of course, my Charizard sleeves uh, from Champion's Path. And the start of this deck, Bird Keeper, Avery, Professor's Research. So this is obviously the start of a fire deck. Score Bunny, Reboot, then Cinderace, some more trainer cards, and then um, Fighting is the part two of the deck also, with Diglett and Ducktrio. All right, so there's that. And of course, the reason that I buy these boxes is for the packs. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so we have got eight packs. Um, so let's start. Um, so like I said, there are rumours that the pools in these packs are better. Um, I really haven't found evidence either way, though I haven't really opened many of these, these packs over time. We're starting with a Grass Energy. Flaffy. Kakuna. Karen's Conviction. Aaron. Roltz. Venipede. Bounce Sweet. Lapras. The Reverse Hollow is a common coughing and the rare is a regular rare spirit tomb all right so we're starting with a regular rare so pack number two um so obviously in those um those the beginnings of decks that these come with you'll obviously need to add energy in so getting these with an elite trainer box as well that come with a bulk pack of energy is probably the best way to start building a deck from scratch. Um, so, fighting energy. Welcoming Lantern, Clara, Brawly, Swirlix, Lapras, Dealing, Galarian Slowpoke, Coughing. Oh, we have a rare for the Reverse Hollow. I'm happy with that. We have a Gardevoir, so I will sleeve that one up. Very nice. And the rare is a regular rare Kecleon. There's a lot of detail that's gone into that art. Who did that? All right. I don't think I've seen that name before. So we will obviously sleet up Gardevoir. Very nice. Have Gardevoir up the back until, of course, hopefully we find some these V Maxes and maybe even some secret rares in here. But for now, Gardevoir is the best we've found. All right, next pack. We have Lightning Energy, Melanie, Expedition Uniform, Hatrim, Ladybar, Gollet, Clobopus. Cast form, snowy form. Hatena. We have another reverse hollow rare. Very nice. A Gallade. And the rare. Oh, we have something. Yes, we have a Galarian Slowking V. This is a card that I needed, so I'm quite happy with that. So, sleeve for reverse hollow rare. And then I'm going to put... Galarian Slow King in a red sleeve. So let's have a look at him. He's number 99 of 198, has 220 HP, single strike. All right. Very nice. All right, so this is the final pack from box number one. And technically only one pull from this box. Um, for anyone who's new to watching my videos. I hope for one third or better of the booster packs I open to be better than a regular rare. So uh, Galarian Slow King was the first of three, so that rule still applies, I guess. Uh, okay, we have Fire Energy, Flaffy, um, Path to the Peak, Ledian, 
Gullet, Porygon, Grookey, Mareep, Rockruff, another rare reverse holo. Very nice. We have a Tauros. And the rare is a regular rare Bannet. All right, so sleeve for Tauros here. It's been a long time since I've opened Chilling Rain, so I can't remember which of these reverse hollows I've needed because it's been weeks upon weeks of lockdown here in Sydney. But I'm finally getting some more product in, which is exciting because opening cards is my happy place, really. All right. Next pack we have a Metal Energy, Hatram, Path to the Peak, Lairon, Rockruff, Swirlix, Lapras, Dealing, Galarian Slowpoke. Uh, the, we have a common for the Reverse Hollow, which is Rockruff, very cute. And the rare is a regular rare, Volcarona. All right. Still only one pool and we're on pack number six. So if the one third uh, rule still applies, hopefully we have something better than a regular rare here. All right, next pack. Water Energy, Raboot, Agatha, Rapid Strike, Scroll of Skies, Dealing, Sneasel, Galarian, Farfetch'd. He looks quite displeased, actually, cleaning his leak. Furfru, Venipede. Oh, we have a Reverse Hollow Rare. Very nice. The Volcarona. And the Rare. Oh, that's so beautiful. Galarian Articuno V. Okay, so two sleeves are needed. Very nice. Okay. So I will put Gardevoir down here and I will sleeve the very beautiful Articuno V here. Psychic Pokemon number 58 of 198. Very nice, 210 HP. So beautiful. Very nice. All right, so two packs left. Um, no secret rares or V Maxes, but I'm pretty sure both of those cards are cards that I needed. Um, obviously, I'm referring to Articuno and Sloking. So let's see what else we can get. Uh, a Dark Energy. This is a Galarian chest plate. Caitlin, Kakuna, uh, Crab Brawler, Gollet. Porygon, Grookey, Mareep. Ooh, another Reverse Holo Rare. Very cool. This one is a Rude. And the Rare is a regular Rare Zangoose. All right. So at least there's a sleeve for this one. Okay, so final pack. Hopefully something exciting in here. But with the excellent promos and the fact that I'm glad that we ended up with two different ones, I'll be I'll happily take whatever, whatever we can get. So final pack, we have a Grass Energy, Lairon, Expedition Uniform, Old Cemetery, Inkay, Squovet, Score Bunny, Diglett, Gollet. A reverse hollow uncommon, which is Hatchram. And the final pull for the video is is a regular rare Galarian Weezing. Alright, so of the eight packs, summary time, we ended up with five uh, reverse hollow rares. Zarud, Four Corona, Gallade, Gardevoir, and Tauros. We then 
also ended up with two V cards. Uh, Galarian Articuno V and Galarian Slow King V. And of course, the stars of the video, these very awesome Chilling Rain stamped promo cards of Cinderace and Inteleon. Alright, thank you so much for joining me in this one everyone, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye now!